Rob Cheryl, we don't want to freak you out, but rats have gone wild. Rats are now attacking vehicles and nesting under the hood of your car. The I team is finding out why rats love your car wires and the efforts by the city to reduce rats in your neighborhood. Rats, they can scurry by us as we're walking on the sidewalk or nest in our yards. But did you know that rats could be under the hood of your car? It's very gross. They made this nest in Sienna Smith's car. The Lakeview resident parks in her neighborhood. The rats have actually chewed my wires four different times. All right, so let's check it out. Smith says the repeated rat damage has rung up a big bill. This whole thing costs $1,300, very expensive rat problem. So why do rats like to nest and nibble on those wires? You can even see the droppings in there. Smith's mechanic, okay. Ken Ziolo of a a Automobile Service, says rats are sharpening teeth inside cars and seeking shelter. He says they may be making a meal out of newer car wires. Many come coated in soy. They must be smelling the soybean in the wiring cover. Ziolo uses this special rat repellent tape to cover wires. So it has a red hot chili pepper scent. How do you keep rats away from your cars? Just getting in the habit of checking the underside of your car before you get in and like maybe popping that hood every once in a while. Janelle Iacchino from Rose Pest Solutions says you should also avoid parking near a food source. Don't park next to an overflowing garbage can and look for things like burrow holes too. And usually a burrow will have an entry hole and at least one exit hole. Iachino shared more pictures of burrow holes that rats can make. This rat was crawling into a home's small crevice. Their bodies are like the cartilage in our ears. They can fold their bodies and flatten them so much. So like they only need the size of a quarter to fit through. So if you're looking underneath your doors and you see light coming through that and it's the size of a quarter, you could have rats in your house. She says weather stripping or door sweeps will block the rat's path. You should also report any rats to 311 City Services. If they see a rat, they'll kill it with that tool. Yes, they will. Wow. Yeah. I have a couple guys who'll stomp on them. <laughs> Josie Cruz, the deputy yeah. commissioner of Chicago's Bureau of Rodent Control, which is part of the Department of Streets and Sanitation, showed the I team how her team battles rats. They found a burrow where the rats, it shows that the rats going in and out. They sweep alleys for burrows, then they put bait and newspaper in the holes and come back a week later. And they'll see if that's pushed out, then we'll go ahead and rebate it again. We know it's active. Both Cruz and Iachino say the problems became more visible during the pandemic when many rats moved from restaurants and found more food sources near homes and gardens. But now the city says rat complaints are down. So far this year, the city received 38,742 rodent-related service requests compared to 40,173 for the same time period in 2022. They love the garbage. Cruz says her department will usually respond to three one one in about five days, but she and other experts encourage residents to do their part by keeping garbage contained. These are vectors of disease, and you want to make sure that they stay out at all costs. Some neighborhood programs have used feral cats to fight rats. That's not something the city officially endorses, saying that too many wild cats could bring other health concerns. Rob Sherrill, the city plans to add an additional $1.5 million to fight rats in next year's budget and add five more rodent control crews. Just remember, look under the hood of your car. I know it sounds a little scary, but you got to do it. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.